Hi, I'm Claire. I teach computer applications technology here in Johannesburg. You know how your teacher always tells you to practice past papers? Yeah, that doesn't really help if you don't know how to do half of the stuff. That's what this is for. You'll find a link to the files in the description below, along with the table of contents, so you can just click straight to the question you need help with. We all learn the best from our mistakes, so please, you have to try this by yourself before you watch this video. Let's get into it. It's important that you keep this example with you, as well as your HTML tag sheet. I've opened the web page in a text editor, Notepad++, so far. And to start, I'm going to run it in Chrome. That's my preference. You can use whatever you want to. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out that the questions are numbered um, in the web page itself so that you don't need to go and look for the area where you need to apply the techniques. Um, secondly, at, by default, Notepad++ does not apply word wrap. So you need to go and switch that on so that you don't have to scroll back and forth the whole time. Let's get started. The first question asks us to put this text in the browser tab. So in order to do that, we're going to add the tag title in front and behind this text. Save. Refresh. Next, we need to work with a National Park heading, Serengeti National Park. So be careful, that's not the heading. This is the heading, and they show you by 6.2 over here. Firstly, we need to change the alignment to center align it. So I'm going to add an attribute to this first tag called align equals center. And remember, American spelling. Next, we need to change this font color to red. Now, font is a tag by itself. So first open and close the tag, and then you can insert an attribute called color with a value red. Next, we need to work with the image, and at the moment it's not showing. So we need to figure out what's wrong with this. The tag and the attribute seems to be correct, so we just need to have a look at why this value is not working. So I'm going to open it in my file explorer, and I'm going to right click and go to properties. So there's two things here. Firstly, they didn't write down the full name. I'm just going to copy that, then I don't need to retype it. And the type of file, the file extension, also isn't correct. So let's go and fix that. Save, refresh. There you go. Now we need to add width and height. Note that you can add more than one attribute to the same picture. There you go. Next, I need to display these two lines about Serengeti and Serengeti facts as bullets below the picture. So there are two things that I need to do in order to make these items bullets. Firstly, I need to specify that I want an unordered list. I'm just going to tab that in. That's nice and neat. And I'm going to end the unordered list. Now just have a look at what that does by itself. Nothing much. It's just indented it from the side and put it on a new paragraph. So I need to specify that these two items actually need to be a bullet each. So I add an LI, which means list item, in front and behind each of them. There you go. Now we need to insert a hyperlink on this word, contact us, so that it actually links to the contact details box at the bottom. Now to do this, let's just quickly have a look at what they've done so far. So at the bottom for the contact details, you'll see they've already created a target location. Let's just have a look at what the HTML tag sheet describes here. 
here it shows you a name equals and then whatever's in the bracket that's the name of the target location so what we're going to do is we're going to create a link to the target location but it's extremely important that you shouldn't forget there should be some text in between these anchor tags do you see here's contact details between these two right so we're going to do this one the name of this target location is contact so I'm going to go up create a hyperlink so first I just anchor the text and I insert a hyperlink reference to the name of this target location now I can click it and it actually moves down to contact details next I need to add another paragraph over here now if you look carefully at your example you'll see the third paragraph uh, is inserted below these two and that's why over here 6.6 .6 already has a paragraph tag available for us so we're just going to open the document we need copy everything and paste it save refresh next we need to edit this table let's have a look at what it should look like you'll see in the example they also have two rows just like this table but they have two cells in each of the rows so that's where the difference comes in the next cell needs to start here by country and this cell needs to start by telephone so let's see how to do that you'll see there's the first row there's the second row and in this first row there is only one cell so that cell needs to end after Serengeti facts and a new one needs to start in front of country I'm just gonna take that a bit out so that it reads easily save let's see there you go and the second one the same where should the cell end and where should the new cell begin lastly we need to change the table border to a width of two there you go for 6.8 they didn't actually indicate where to put it they just said below the table so I'm just going to do it right there and you in need to insert your exam number as a comment so to do that um, it's very easy you literally just follow the example of all the other comments in the document so it opens with an exclamation mark then you insert your number and close your tab